I'm Diana Verholst, CEO of the United Way of Whiteside County. We're coming to you by video this year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. After I speak, you'll hear from some of our agency partners who wanted to share their work with you as well. Finally, Mike Sturba, who is our campaign chair this year, will speak at the very end of this video. This is our 75th year serving Whiteside County, and we're very proud of that. This year, our annual goal is big. It's $800,000. And in order to help us raise that money, we're putting a little incentive in. This year, we're giving away a 50cc motor scooter generously donated to the campaign by Bowman Auto Center in Rock Falls. Please join us again in this campaign. If you haven't in years past, if you donate at least $20, you'll be eligible to get your ticket in that raffle bin behind me, see it? So that you too can have a chance to win the scooter. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Please stay safe and remember to live united always. Now stay tuned to hear a word from some of our agency partners. Be well, bye bye. Hi, I'm Trish Claver with the Sterling Rock Falls Family YMCA. For 125 years, we've been listening and responding to the needs of the Sterling Rock Falls community, serving people of all ages and backgrounds. The Y brings people together, focusing on youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. Whether it be in youth sports, group exercise classes, learning how to swim, or having a safe place where families can get healthy together. Seniors can connect with older adults in our Silver Sneakers program, and kids have an unforgettable experience at Camp Benson. At the Y, we work to connect people, build relationships with others, and give everyone a sense of belonging. Thank you so much for your support, and thank you for giving to United Way. Hi, I'm Nora Wenzel. I'm the program director of Big Brothers Big Sisters of the Mississippi Valley in Whiteside County. Big Brothers Big Sisters creates and supports one-to-one -one mentoring relationships that ignite the power and promise of youth. This year in Whiteside County, we're really looking for a year of growth and we're excited to increase our match numbers. We're focused on recruitment, both child recruitment and volunteer recruitment. And we hope that by making more matches, we're allowing more youth in this county to reach their full potential. Thank you for giving to United Way. Hello, I'm Karen Voss with Rock River Hospice and Home. Hospice provides end of life care to those who have been diagnosed with a terminal illness. The funding we receive from the United Way helps us with two programs, our volunteer and bereavement program. Both programs are vital to the care that we provide, however, being mandated by Medicare, but not reimbursable. On behalf of the staff, board, volunteers, and our patients and families, we thank you for giving to the United Way. I'm Summer Roots, Client Services Coordinator for Home of Hope Cancer Wellness Center. One of the key aspects to providing supportive services to patients and their families is that we meet with you one-on-one. -on -one. We do this over at CGH Medical Center uh, for patients receiving chemo treatment, and we also meet with patients receiving radiation services at Northern Illinois Cancer Treatment Center. In addition to those two areas, we also offer weekly support group services here at the center. Hi, I'm Catherine Davey Workman. I'm an intern from Aurora University. I will be with the center until May of 2021. Um, in addition to our supportive uh, services, we offer um, some educational services. Currently, we are rolling out new programming on Wednesdays, both on our Facebook page and on YouTube. Um, different topics we cover include cancer-related topics that will um, we find interesting while they're undergoing treatment, as well as cooking demonstrations and creative outlets. I'm Daria Bennett, I'm the Administrative Assistant here at Home of Hope, and I cover the newsletter, I plan programs, and I help plan fiscal programs. So what that is, is we offer massage and yoga and Reiki when COVID allows. Um, we'd like to thank United Way for having us as a United Way agency. Hello, my name is Tom Reinot, and I'm the director of the Coloma Township Park District. Today I'm standing at Wallingford Park. Wallingford Park is most well known for being the host of the Rock Falls Little League every year. This is just one of many different recreational opportunities we have to offer this community's youth and that is in no small part thanks to the contributions that the United Way of Whiteside County makes. I just want to thank the United Way of Whiteside County and say that we are proud and thankful to be able to partner with you in serving this community. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kathy Waitman Moore, the Program Director of the Rockford Diocese Long-Term Care Ombudsman Program. Catholic Charities has been a long-term partner of the Whiteside County United Way. 
For more than 30 years, we have been advocating for the residents of nursing homes and other facilities across Northern Illinois, including 19 in Whiteside County. Our advocacy focuses on the rights of residents, making sure that they are never forgotten, even in the most difficult of times, such as the isolation caused by COVID-19. We focus on providing the compassion, dignity, and respect due to each individual. United Way helps us help residents maintain or achieve the independence that is consonant with human dignity. Your support of United Way helps us protect your family members, friends, and loved ones. Thank you for giving to the United Way. Hi, my name is Christy Zepizauer. I'm the Executive Director of Woodlawn Arts Academy. Our motto at Woodlawn Arts Academy is where the arts are for everyone. We are a proud United Way agency, and because of their funding and with companies like yours in this community, we are able to offer scholarship opportunities to all that apply and qualify. We offer arts programming to all ages in all disciplines. We've been around now for 15 years, and we thank you for supporting and giving to United Way and for supporting the arts. My name is Mike Sturba, and this year I have the privilege of acting as the campaign chair for United Way of Whiteside County's annual fall campaign. 2020 marks the United Way's 75th year of service. It started in 1945 as the community chest of Sterling and Rock Falls. Back then our budget was only $45,000, and we serviced six agencies, including the National War Fund, which assisted veterans returning from World War II. Now we've grown to 24 agencies. We fund 32 programs, including United Way's own community impact programs. As Diana told you earlier this year, as an incentive, we are giving away a 50cc scooter to one lucky donor. All it takes is $20 for one ticket. More information on the giveaway can be found at uwwhiteside.org. Thank you for being part of the United Way family. This year has been a tough one, and we do hope that next year we will return to some sort of normalcy. Stay healthy and remember, live united. Thank you.